सो गाइज लेट्स बिगिन विथ अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर See these types of mirror are known as convex mirror. Remember, yes, we remember. A convex mirror is used to form an image of a real object. Now we have a real object in our situation. So let me draw the object. This is the object. We can say it is a real object because we can see the uh, incident light rays are diverging. from this object can you see that yes so this is a real object now mark the wrong statement we have to pick the wrong statement okay so we will read each and every statement very carefully statement a says the image lies between the pole and focus let's see where the image of this object will lie now to draw image we will use two light rays one light ray is parallel to the principal axis so this light ray which is parallel to the principal axis incidents the mirror like this now you can see what will happen after reflection after reflection these parallel light rays uh, should pass or appear to pass through focus okay so we can see the focus of this type of mirror is on this side okay okay so after reflection what will happen the ray will go like this we can see it is appearing to pass through focus nice this happens after reflection now the other ray we will take uh, is the ray which will incident this mirror at pole so here comes this ray shoo it hits the mirror at pole now at pole the principal axis is the normal so we can say angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection this is what happens after reflection of this ray now let's let's try to extend this ray on the other side tick 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 and we can see the reflected light meets at this particular point or they appear to meet at this particular point here we will get the image now we can see the light rays are appearing to diverge from this uh, uh, particular image so this image is a virtual image okay the reflected light rays are appearing to diverge from this image so this is the virtual image right now let's see the options option a said the image lies between pole and focus so can we see that our image is lying between the pole and focus okay okay so option a is true what about option b the image is diminished in size is it smaller than the object yes it is so option b is also true option c says the image is erect yes we can see image is erect so option c is also true what about option d the image is real is it real no it is virtual option d is false so we have to pick the wrong statement and we pick option d as the answer for our question now you can remember something at this point the key concept to solve this problem was this in case of real object and a convex mirror the image will always be diminished virtual and erect okay okay just remember that and it will lie between focus and pole so for this question we pick option d as the answer so guys let's see this wonderful question an object is placed at a distance of 30 cm from a concave mirror and its real image is formed at a distance of 30 cm again from the mirror the focal length of the mirror is so what does the question say question says we have a concave mirror like this so good so good now what are we doing we are placing an object at a distance of 30 cm from the mirror so this is object distance it is 30 cm good now let me just draw the object so this is a very small object like this nice now we can see after reflection the image will be formed and the image is also formed at a distance of 30 cm only from the mirror okay 
So object distance is equal to image distance. Now we have to tell what is the focal length of the mirror. What is the focal length of the mirror? This is the question. Did we get the question? Yes, we got the question. Now see, when the object is placed at center of curvature, where will be the image? The image will also be formed at center of curvature only. Okay, so we can see in our case also, object distance is equal to image distance. So we can predict our object must be placed at center of curvature. This can only happen when the object is placed at center of curvature. Right, right, right. So what is the radius of curvature? Radius of curvature is 30 centimeter. Good. You are good. So if you know the radius of curvature, can you tell me the focal length? You will say yes. If radius of curvature is known, we can say focal length will be r by 2. And this means we have 30 by 2 for our question. And focal length comes out to be 15 centimeter. Got it. Option A is the right answer for our question. So what did we just learn? We have learned that when the object distance is equal to image distance, it means the object is placed at center of curvature of the concave mirror. We have learned that. Now in case some people don't remember this, then also they can apply the mirror formula and get the answer. They can use this equation 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f. Now you know we take the direction uh, of incident light as positive and the direction opposite to the uh, direction of incident light is negative. So in our case what is u? What is u? u is minus 30. What is v? v is minus 30. So we can see uh, 1 upon minus 30 plus 1 upon minus 30 is equal to 1 upon f. This means f is nothing but minus 15. So we can see focus is at a distance of 15 centimeter from the pole. So focal length is 15 centimeter and we can just mark option A as the right answer for our question. So let's see this incredible question. A boy 2 meter tall stands at a distance of 40 centimeter in front of a mirror. So he is a really tall boy. His height is 2 meter. So this is the boy, 2 meter in height. Now he stands in front of a mirror. We don't know what is the type of mirror. What is the nature of mirror? We don't know that. But we do know something else. We know that he sees an erect image 1 meter high. So the image is first of all erect image and the height of the image is 1 meter. Height of the image is 1 meter. Good. Now we have to tell what is the nature of the mirror. So what is the nature of mirror? This is the question. And options are option A, concave mirror. Option B, convex mirror. Option C, plane mirror. And option D, either convex or concave. So what do you think? What is the type of mirror? Can we do this? using a plane mirror. Can this be done using a plane mirror? Suppose you go and see your face in plane mirror and you see a small face. What do you think? Can this happen with plane mirrors? No, no, no. This cannot happen with plane mirror. The height of the object should be equal to height of image in case of plane mirror. The magnification is 1 in case of plane mirror. So this cannot happen for plane mirrors. So plane mirrors are rejected. Now we are left with concave mirror and convex mirror. Now can this happen using concave mirror? Can concave mirror form smaller images? You will say yes, concave mirror can form smaller images but we should have real images if we want the smaller images in case of concave mirror. So let's see if we have a concave mirror like this and we want smaller images. So we can have them if we have the images as real images. Okay. So, if we have the real images, the images must be inverted. But in our case, we have erect image and the image is smaller. 
सो कैन कॉन्केव मिरर फॉर्म वर्चुअल इमेजेस इरेक्ट इमेजेस यस दे कैन फॉर्म वर्चुअल इमेजेस एंड इरेक्ट इमेजेस बट इफ दे आर फॉर्मिंग वर्चुअल एंड इरेक्ट इमेजेस देन द साइज ऑफ द इमेज इज मैग्निफाइड सो लेट सी अनदर केस ऑफ द सेम कॉन केव मिरर्स वी प्लेस द ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक दिस now in this case the object is between focus and port so we can see after reflection what is happening after reflection we are getting these as the reflected light rays okay and they are appearing to meet at this point oh ho oh. so in this case we are indeed getting a erect image but the image is very large as compared to the object so in our case the image is diminished it is smaller in the size as that of the object so we cannot say that we have concave mirror concave mirrors are also rejected what is left convex mirror so can this case happen for convex mirror yes it can happen we know that convex mirror forms virtual images of real objects and the images are diminished in nature okay so if we have our mirror as convex mirror like this tick 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 we can see what will happen these are the light rays so this light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will go like this good so we can see mm, this is the focus all right and another light ray which passes through a pole which touches the pole like this will be reflected and it will go like this so we can see when we extend it it is touching right over here so we are getting our image so where is our image our image is over here it is between focus and pole and the image is virtual in nature and the height of the image is less than the height of the object so we can say we can have convex mirror to satisfy this condition only convex mirror can satisfy this condition option b is the right answer for our question let's see this interesting question an object is placed 40 cm in front of concave mirror right the focal length is 20 cm the image formed is so what is given we know at what distance we have the object and we also know the focal length of the mirror good good we have to tell everything about the image what is the nature of the image what is the size of the image and at which location we will obtain the image we have to tell everything about the image now first of all notice something the object distance is twice the focal length can you see that yes so this means our object is placed at the center of curvature itself and when the object is at the center of curvature the image is formed at the center of curvature when we have a concave mirror good 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 if you remember that you have solved this question so you know at what location we are getting the image the image is real inverted and of the same size as that of the object and what did we use to solve this question we just used this formula we used f is equals to r by 2 so from this we got the radius of curvature radius of curvature will be twice of the focal length and we can see the center of curvature will be at a distance of 40 cm from the mirror and this is the exact location at which we are placing the object so the object is placed at the center of curvature image when the object is placed at center of curvature is formed at the center of curvature itself it is real inverted and of the same size as that of the object so this is our conclusion good now you can also use formulas to get this same result the formula we use is the mirror formula 1 upon b plus 1 upon u is equals to 1 upon f the directions are important the direction of the incident light ray is taken as positive the opposite direction will be negative good good that's why we have written f as minus 20 and u as minus 40 nice nice now let's use this formula 
v is nothing but u f divided by u minus f. Let's put the values. So u is minus 40, f is minus 20, and u minus f, minus 40, minus of minus 20, this is minus 20. So minus 20 gets cancelled out and we get v is equals to minus 40. That is the, the image is formed at a distance of 40 centimeter from the mirror. Good. And magnification, you know the formula is minus v by u. Okay. So when we put the values, we are getting magnification as minus 1 for our question. So we can see the image is inverted and of the same size as that of the object. So our conclusion is, our conclusion is the image is real, inverted and of the same size as that of the object. Option A is the right answer for this question. Let's see this amazing question. An object A, B, E, D is placed in front of a concave mirror beyond the center of curvature C as shown in the figure. Can we see this weird object? Yes, of course, it is pretty weird. And the mirror is concave mirror, right? Now the shape of the image will be, so we have to draw the correct shape of the image. And these are the options, right? Now let's draw our own image. How to do that? Well, we will try to imagine this object to be composed of different, different parts. Now let me focus on two parts especially. This line segment DE. Okay. So this is one part. I've drawn it with blue color. And then line segment AB. This is another part. Good. Good. Now let's draw their individual images. Now line segment DE is very close to center of curvature. Can you see that? Yes. So the image will also be close to center of curvature. Okay, okay. So the uh, basic principle is when the object is beyond the center of curvature, the image will be between center of curvature and focus for these concave mirror. This is the general principle. We know that, right? So let's try to draw the image of DE. This image will be close to center of curvature and will be of smaller size than the object itself. Okay, okay. Now, let's try to draw the image of AB. We can see AB is far away from the center of curvature. So, the image will also be far from the center of curvature like this. Good, good, good. You got it right. Now, let's try to imagine the entire image. So, if we try to imagine the image of all the points on this object, uh, we will finally get this type of image. Okay. So, you have guessed the correct representation of the image. Right. Now, let's see that in the options. Can you see the correct option? Can you guess the correct option? I will show you the image again. This is our image. Can you see that in the options? You will say yes. Option C is the right answer for our question. So simple. So we mark C as the right answer for this amazing question.